In this lesson, we're going to go over the three views Photos provides for your entire photo library. Years, Collections, and Moments. In each one of these views, all the images in your library are displayed, unless you've set them as hidden. We have two navigation arrows that are key to what you see when in Photos view. These arrows will zoom the view of your photo library between years, collections, and moments. Currently, I'm in the Moments view, which is the most zoomed in I can get on my photo library. Currently, I'm looking at the latest photos added to this library. Scroll up to move back in time moment by moment. At the bottom of this page, Photos lets me know how many total photos and videos are in my library. Click the left arrow button here to zoom out to collections. This consolidates your photos by a combination of date and location. Photos does this automatically with the date, time, and location information saved in your photos. So it's a good idea to make sure you have the date and time set correctly in your camera, and if location information wasn't added in camera, that you manually add location information to your photos after importing them, which we'll cover later on. I can scroll through this entire library pretty quickly when viewing collections. As I hover over each collection with my cursor, I can click the play button that appears to the right to quickly view these photos in a slideshow. There are a few themes to select from, and I can choose my own music if I want. Click the Play Slideshow button to view it in full screen right away. Click the X here to stop the slideshow. Click the plus button here to add the images to an album or project. We'll look at all these items later on in the course. Click the left arrow one more time, and I can zoom out all the way to the Years view. This is the most consolidated view in Photos. This entire photo library is all visible on one screen in your view. I'm going to switch over to a much larger photo library now. And as you can see, the Year view is quite a different experience. There are over 14,000 photos here. A great way with photos to browse in years and collections view is to click, hold, and drag if you're using a mouse. Or if you have a trackpad, use a three finger drag. As you drag, a larger preview of the photo beneath the cursor will pop up. If you release the mouse or lift your fingers from the trackpad, the current photo is going to open. If you don't want to open a photo, but you want to stop browsing in this manner. Move to a blank area either above or below the photos and release to not open any photo. Let's move back to our sample photo library now. Click once on any photo in your view to zoom in on it in collections. Single click again to see it in moments. In any of these views, double click on a photo and it will open and fill the window. I then need to hit the left arrow to return to the moments view. Tapping the spacebar will also close the image and send you back out to moments. Hit the spacebar again to reopen the photo. When viewing a single photo, click this button to bring up Split View. This will show the other images in this moment. I can move through these photos with my arrow keys. As I go back, photos will jump to the next moment automatically. While in Moments View, you can adjust the size of the photo thumbnails with the slider up here, or with the usual keyboard shortcut, Command plus for larger and Command minus for smaller. 
Unfortunately, there's no keyboard shortcuts right now to move from moments to collections to years. Next up, we'll take a look at the section views available in the four buttons at the top of the window.